Okay, good evening and welcome to the Town of Brookfield's October 5th, uh, 2021 Select Board meeting. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Right. So we will start with um, um, let's start with old business from the top of the top of the hit parade here. Um, it looks like we have job descriptions for health admin clerk uh, as revised, the building inspector, plumbing inspector, and wiring inspector. Did anybody have any feedback or questions about those job descriptions? No, I looked them over and I thought they were fine. Yep. Yeah, I looked at the advanced copies as well. Yeah. Um, and the inspectors, that's pretty much aligned with Mass General. Yeah, they, they okay. are described by yeah. Mass General. Okay. All right. So, um, can I get a motion to approve? Um, I would like to make a motion to approve the revised um, uh, job descriptions for Reven. You want me to say them all? Sure. Okay. For the uh, health administrative clerk. Building inspector, plumbing inspector, wiring inspector. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, and then Kelly was going to provide us with progress on the town meeting articles. The boiler is complete. We were waiting for an inspection, but it's small enough that it doesn't require a special inspection, so that's no longer necessary. Okay. Um, the roof cleats are completed. It's just a matter of paying the invoice on that. Great. Um, we don't have any progress on the shed for the transfer station yet. Uh, the 18 Common Street purchase, we got the um, notice of acceptance of deed that you'll be signing at the next select board meeting that came in tonight around 5 o'clock. Okay, great. So title search is done, all the bells and whistles are ready, it's just a matter of closing and filing the paperwork. Outstanding. So, how it's done. That's good. Um, I did not check with Kathy on the walking path, but as of yesterday, it wasn't started. Okay. And I went out, um, I found a commercial chairlift vendor, and I'm waiting for nice. a quote. Nice. So that's Thank where you. we are with those. Great. Uh, the Town Hall Improvement Committee thanks you. <laughs> well, we'll see if we get anywhere with it. They'll, they can thank you later. <laughs> well, the fact that you even found somebody, it, if, if you found somebody, Great first step, right? We can only do things one step at a time. Yeah. True. Okay. And if, they, if, if they still exist, it was an online right. you know, request, and so I'm waiting to hear back. They yeah. may not even be in business anymore. Right. But I'm working on it. Okay, great. Thank you for that. Um, so let's move on. The first order of business is um, our certificates of achievement. We have uh, Paul. Milotowski with seven years. Yes. Yeah. And seven. and Cameron Resigue with seven years. Years as well. <laughs> so we Did I say your name? Yes. 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 Also Smart. affectionately known to the outside world as Karen yeah. Trainer. <laughs> so did we want to hand those yes. out? Come on up, Paul. Come on up, Paul. Thank Paul. you for your thank, thank you for much. your service. Yeah. Thank you. Good for you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. you do a good job. Thank you. Good job. Can we get it? Laurie, can you get that? Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Laurie, could you get one for me and Karen? Thank you. And Karen. This is a surprise. <laughs> I know. Where's my this one? camera? Wait a minute. Camera, camera. Where are we? Thank you. I just got an update. Swipe down from the top There's right. There's a camera right there. Yeah. The, oh, here it is. Right there. Lauren, would you mind getting, taking a picture of me if you can? Where's this going to go, Linda? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very Let's much. This one to Karen this for also being here you. for seven this years. This is a surprise. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> See, we kept it as a surprise. Now let's do a group photo. Come on. Yeah. Okay, you can actually probably put yeah. three. Together. Let's get the two of them together and do we want to get everybody in there? Yeah, let's, yeah, not Well, can you with the two of them? You got them? Okay. That's yeah. true. Okay. So can we put this up on the town website? Yeah, you can. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, let's, let's get a photo with this one. Yeah. Sorry that I'm not dressed for 
For those who have reached 25 or even 20 year longer. No, yeah. this is the first recognition. I, right. the first I, I've time. seen that yeah, in I mean, some that, town halls where they'll have like uh, a plaque. Yeah. Yeah. And if you reach 20 years or 25, you get your name on the plaque for it to We can look into that, that. do a little glass name or yeah. last name plates on yeah. the plaque. And, and I'd like to, I, I know we're trying to capture the folks who are hitting their anniversaries like mm -hmm. this month, but if we can start to capture those ones that we've missed mm -hmm. in terms because I know we've read off like the EMT and paramedic ones in the meetings we do have especially with that group we've got folks that have been with us like 30 yes. plus years like you said so um, we need to start doing a better job other than just the the read off I know a couple companies that do plaques with uh, individual pieces that could be replaced mm -hmm. like yeah. screwed on individually or, yeah. or, or they slide like, in yeah that's like we have over there with the Boston Post came Right. That's another project, Karen. We have to get together. Mm -hmm. yeah, we've done that in we we yes. let that off, so we've got to get together on that. So for the plaque, do you want to do a large plaque and we can... With the, with we'll the pieces that the you can unscrew. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's little. It's just like that. They're little placards. Like Twenty years this week, and then you get off the board, and the next guy goes. No, 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 no. It builds up, so it's, okay. it's it could go back. Because you're unscrewing, and it confused me. I would be screwing. No, you unscrew it to get like, it engraved. Why are we taking them off? We don't even have them. Usually, yeah. when you buy them, you'll buy them, and they'll be all blanks. Yes. And then yeah. you can send them in and not have to pay a fee because you've technically already paid for all the blanks. Excellent. Yes. That would Karen, one coach you told me that he had some so that we could complete this one. He has blank. Blank. Oh, he does. Yeah. Okay, that's what we need to get him in Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, okay. Next was town administrator review. I know we didn't get the form out until late, and that was my that was on me because I didn't even ask for anything to get sent out. Um, I did. Yeah, and then I had to take the time to make it because you didn't have one. Because we didn't have <laughs> one. So, so now you have one. I'm really wondering how we did it in the past because <laughs> I know that we haven't probably as long as I've been on the board of selectmen. But previously, yeah. I understood that we, we did reviews. Yes, but, we used to do reviews. Yes, um, we did. But uh, apparently, nobody knew knew where the file was hiding. So thank you for that. Um, wanted to just kind of swing through, and I didn't know how you all wanted to do this. If you want to just kind of read down the the items and just and just have some conversation about it and then we can eventually formally get everybody's notes on paper um and, and kelly first of all i just want to thank you i mean you were coming into yeah. the great unknown yeah. in coming into this role okay um and as you pointed out we're, we are not always we don't always have uh let's call it mature processes in place okay so thank you for being willing to take yeah. on the challenge to, to start off um do y'all want me to read through what I have, and then sure. where do you want me? Yeah, we don't, yeah, yeah. So we don't have okay. any notes or anything. Yeah. So, um, first one is job knowledge. Um, your experience and knowledge of Mass General Law relative to the role has been evident even in this initial period. You know, you came on board and and um, managed to to start to steer us kind of the right direction with regards to what's usual and customary, which you know we needed that help um, from a productivity perspective. Um, you seem really focused on steady productivity, ensuring stuff is done correctly the first time instead of going fast and requiring rework. I, I hate doing things twice. Right. So do it right the first time. Yeah. Do that's it over. Right. Right. right the first time. So, um, so that's been that's been really good. Um, work quality. I, I haven't seen any glaring missteps because perhaps of that caution up front of actually doing due diligence up front. Mm -hmm. The work quality has been very good so far. Um, 
you bring, from a technical skills perspective, you bring both experience and education to the role, okay? Um, to date, these skills have been excellent and it's been valuable mm -hmm. in providing like great course of action options for us um, for some of the town's challenges. So you have a tendency to bring solutions, but um, you manage to like walk that line between you know, we're, we're the board and we're supposed to make the decisions, but it's good for us to have just like clean options to make the decisions from instead of just a problem to, to start from scratch. So that's been great. Um, work consistency, it's a little hard to evaluate in 90 days because like anybody can have a good stretch, yeah, right? right. Uh, the but, <laughs> right, well, exactly, right? So, and, and I note that, hey, it's early, but to date you, it's been very solid performance, right? Mm -hmm. And if I could, I will say that the uh, emails and communications have been very consistent mm -hmm. in how they've been yeah. worded and handled when there's been interdepartment communications yeah. or even uh, external communications when there are some external things and you, know, you would forward the whole um, conversation that you had and your language on all of them was very consistent. Yeah, and that's helpful when trying to like, oh, yeah. piece through information is. Mm -hmm. is that the fact that you tend to take the same kind of very methodical approach in the communications makes it easy to digest where and it's something that you know it sounds like Linda appreciates it I know trying to keep up for me if I have to look a different place every time for where the important information is would be impossible so um, yeah the communication that she has with us is it's excellent yeah she lets us know everything you know that's going on right so we're, we're, kept up, we're kept up to date now. Like, I mean, you, you could go back a few years on the Board of Selectmen, they would always keep one out of the link and we didn't know what was going on. Right. And Kelly keeps us all up so we all know what's going on. And that never happened. No, it never did. <laughs> it's vital, you're a team. <laughs> you're supposed yeah. to work together. <laughs> so, uh, but no, but that's a, that's a very, very um, good observation, yeah. Linda. Um, uh, enthusiasm, um, you're very engaged and you seem eager to do a good job, right? So uh, I hope that lasts past the honeymoon period. Yeah. Um, hopefully we make it a pleasant enough place to work. I know work is still work, but it, it's easier to be enthusiastic if yeah. you're not dealing with a bunch of raging, you know. Well, this board is great. We'll see what happens. So. <laughs> yeah, remember, it's the honeymoon period. It can, it can, it can, it can. It can change just with one one uh, board member so. right um let's see here cooperation um you regularly implement or comply with anything agreed upon by the board um or that we will or that's aligned with the recommendations or precedents so um very good there yeah, i'll say with the cooperation too that if there is a pushback needed you do give a pushback right but, but, it, but it's not like the heavy-handed, it's, you know, you might want to look at it this way or come at it from this direction. Or be warned what you're thinking about is not, yeah. not quite allowable yeah. under mass general law, <laughs> yeah, which you, is always a good You push. may want to go read that passage again, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, uh, but it's respectful and it's, and it's mm -hmm. great, so well, that's good. Um, excellent attitude. Oh, yeah. I mean, just very positive, very, you know, solid work approach. Um, you know, very solution oriented, which is nice. Um, and also, where attitude's concerned, she's had a lot of, I don't know if this fits into this, but a lot of the different towns people have come up to meet her. Yeah, Kelly. And, yep. and you made the time for folks, yeah, which is huge. Yep, that's what it is. I've met a lot of yeah. people, so if I have met you yeah. and I do not remember your name, please forgive me because I've been calling the man I've been married to, hun, for 38 years because I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not personal. And, and, she ta and you've taken the time to, yeah. to uh, get to, not to really get to know them, but to introduce themselves, and you know, they might tell them something a little bit about themselves or you, and I think that's been good. Yeah, it has been noticed. Yeah. Yep. Um, let's see here. Initiative. Initiative, yes, thank you. I was trying to catch back up. Um, very appropriate in your level of initiative, especially where we're in that, not only is it a honeymoon period, it's kind of a rules and responsibilities delineation period. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it feels like you're trying to ensure that you don't overstep, but that you also go after those things that we've asked you to go after so I, I think that's you've struck a really good balance there 
um, working relations, I've heard nothing but positive yeah. comments from everybody from department yeah. heads to, you know, other elected officials, you know, both folks that you deal with regularly and even just somebody that's had kind of initial engagement. I've heard the same thing. Everybody's so happy, you know, with the work relations. And even, you know, like I said, too, if people have come in and say they've had a problem or even they've called you and, you'll take, and they come in the office and you take the time to help them out. Um, for, like, creativity, punctuality, attendance, um, I basically said it's a little early on really any of those things, but there's no red flags, nothing, yeah. like, jumps out and says... Who is it? <laughs> we do have some follow-up on the heating system. We do. Texas <laughs> is being and they'll be coming in to yeah. take a peek. Yeah. So anyway, who lives in there and why they're not getting the pipes warming, warming up? The pipes warming up. Yeah. Be in here by yourself. <laughs> well, I was for a while today, and there was a lot of knocking and banging yeah. going on. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I will say with creativity that um, some of your solutions to. Uh, questions or problems that have come up have been created but in a good way they have been like tackled in the kind of normal well this is what the book says you got to do it this way it's more right. of well here's what the book says but here's some things that I've done in the past or I've witnessed in the past and these have worked and right. you know we could go at it this way instead that's not so heavy-handed right. you know, um, kind of more of the allows people to uh, feel good about the resolution rather than just uh, oh, okay they figured it out and not too happy. Right, it's boilerplate or what have yeah. you. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's it's very important to get everybody on the same mm -hmm. track when creating a resolution. And the more they have for input, mm -hmm. the more readily they're going to comply with whatever the resolution yeah. is, is because it's part of their idea. So. Yep. Right. Yeah, and you have to be creative to come up with ones that fit all the different people that you run into. Yeah. Yeah, in the, in the town, right? So mm -hmm. it's got to be the right solution. It's got to be legal, but it's also got to be the right answer, yeah. right? It, the, and yeah. it's striking that balance between the two. So um, dependability. I mean, you, so far I can't think of a commitment that you haven't delivered on, so long as the expectation was was clear and and we had positive agreement yeah. on it. Um, Communication skills, Adam already spoke to yeah. it well, but excellent both written and verbal yeah. communications. Mm -hmm. okay. um, overall rating is like probably, you know, right on that boundary between excellent and good, but, with the only reason why it's on the boundary is just time. 90 days is a short period of time to commit yeah, that like everything is awesome, but um, it's certainly a good plus, if that makes any sense. So you can keep me? I, I'm playing, I, I, my vote is the keeper. Mm -hmm. Do we need to do yeah. a formal vote? <laughs> Unless we need to for the record. Yeah, I think we've got to keep, we'll keep for about three months and so <laughs> Fair enough. But no, I mean, there's, there's nothing up to this time that would make us say, you know, this was not the right move. Fundamentally. It was a good, very good move. Like I had told you before, one day I told you I wasn't all in favor of a town administrator but after you got here and the things that you were doing, you know, different things that we shouldn't have been doing and things that we should have. And you've come in and you've, you've really led, the, led us to get back on the right track. Mm -hmm. and, and you've done a good job. And Thank I'm you. happy that you're here with us. Thank yes. you. Yeah. I have heard some changes in mindset too after yeah. you started and they've met you. Yeah, well, and I, I think, and, and to be frank, I think a, a, a lot of the challenge was, right, is that people inherently, it's, it's in a political appointed position, inherently people don't tend to trust that despite the fact that they voted for us that we'll make the right decision for the town, okay? In this instance, we were fortunate to have a candidate like you where we could yeah. make a decision that, at least based on the first 90 days, is, will be the right decision for the town, mm -hmm. fundamentally. So it's, it's great to get it right, so. Um, yeah, we're one for one. We're one for one. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Four. So, anyway. Um, so, opportunities for improvement. I, I didn't have any specific guidance yeah. at this time other than to kind of continue with the your current approach uh, going off into the future. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, I, I think it's, I think 
you know, the way you're developing and working priorities is consistent with my personal expectations, mm -hmm. and I think it's aligned pretty well with, with what the oh, board's yeah. asked for. So she is. Um, she's doing everything that we've asked for. So. Yep. But that's what I have. Yeah. yeah. So, um, do we need to do any sort of formal vote? I can hand my notes over to get it included in the file. No, I don't believe that the um, contract requires any. Formal vote. No, just, no, it was just a review. It was just, just a, a review, review at the 90 day yeah. mark, and, yeah. and you still have the option of saying your socks don't match, you need to go. So, yeah. yeah, but mismatched socks are awesome. Yeah, I, know. I, I was going to say, that's kind of, you know, kind of fashionable. Sometimes these days. they come out with a blue shoe and a black shoe. You never so. know what's going to happen. <laughs> So, so long as um, those shoes get you in here and do the things we need you to do, I don't think we're gonna yep. gonna take offense. No. So, I'll think so awesome. So, well, but thank you. Seriously, I'm gonna end where I started, which is thank you. It's been mm -hmm. you're welcome. Yeah, very good so far. It's actually been very pleasurable um, to date. It's been great. Everybody's been really receptive. Everybody's mm -hmm. been very open-minded and fair and cooperative. And I really appreciate that you guys have a fantastic team here. It's not just a bunch of people that work in the same building, right. which is nice. Mm -hmm. right. Not always the case. Or even the ones that yeah. work in other buildings. We've got a pretty good yes. crowd there, too. Yeah. Yes, I Most mean, yeah, I'm encompassing all of the departments yeah. in yeah. the town. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, and that's probably the biggest challenge, honestly. Culturally, in the town, I think one of the, the challenges that we've had and will probably be the one that we'll need your help with is that, you know, um, Keeping it one big team fundamentally, mm -hmm. and ensuring that the folks that that the folks that work at the highway department feel just as engaged as the folks working in the assessor's mm -hmm. office, you know. Yeah. Um, and um, and if we can start to make the volunteers feel as supported mm -hmm. as the employees, we can potentially get more yeah. of them, and and life will be better all the way around. Mm -hmm. So, um, but awesome. Thank you. Great discussion. I think it was too. Um, okay, so we'll move on to the next order of business, treasurer. So we've interviewed what three candidates? Three candidates. Mm -hmm. um, probably my favorite candidate, unfortunately, was was it, her expectations about the role. Unfortunately, weren't matched with mm -hmm. what we had to offer. Yeah, I think she was my favorite of them too. She would have been a really good fit, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that, that's what interviews and, and phone calls and everything are for. Yes. Is to figure that out before any finalization is done. Yeah. Yep. Um, so that leaves us with um, the the two folks that we had interviewed previously, um, uh, Amy Lane, Carmody, and Jessica Crawford. So. I wanted to open up some dialogue on um, kind of people's observations from those two interviews, um, what their thoughts were in terms of next step. Um, so, Linda, did you want to kick us off? Or? Yeah, well, the way I feel uh, where Amy's concerned, I think she's more, my feeling is she's more of a town accountant than she is a treasurer. Okay. Because uh, she was only a treasurer in a where was it here in one community for uh, she was only there for two years in the town of Richmond, and that's a small community. She was only she did treasurer's work there, and then um, now she's like the chief financial officer up there in the town of Lanesboro. So you know she's got all these different people you know that work for her, and um, I don't know actually if she does any of the, uh, you know, day-to-day -day things in, like, the treasurer's office. And I just think that's my feeling where she's concerned, I think, because, and then another thing is she doesn't, um, she doesn't have the knowledge of data. She's never used data, and that's going to need training. And uh, also with the payroll system, too. She's never used TACAS either, so we have to get training. And, you know, I really don't want to see any setbacks with anything, you know, hiring somebody that's not familiar with a lot of our software that we have here. Okay. So that's we, how I feel with that's concerned. Even, I was only available for Amy's, but I did read the transcript from the meeting for Jessica's. Okay. Um, 
And I'm actually quite torn because I look at Jessica's treasurer experience, which she mm -hmm. has a good amount of. Oh, I, I thought we were just doing them one at a time. Well, I was just asking for people's general yeah, observations. Oh, so he's, he's starting with Jessica. Oh, okay. so yeah, just because that's with the, your observations okay. the top on one. Amy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. He's going with his observations. Yeah. My intent here is to run a little bit of a conversation. Yeah. We'll get Adam's input. I'd like to get Kelly's input. I'm actually saving mine for last intentionally. So Yeah, it, and just for, for Amy, the reason why I'm torn is because of what Linda said, that there doesn't seem like going by this and the... Uh, interview mm -hmm. there's not the formal treasurer yeah. experience but she's done a lot in terms of training treasures coming in mm -hmm. she's got a ton of background in almost every aspect of it right. just didn't have the title of treasurer right and having lived out in the Lanesboro area I know it's a very diverse and there's a lot of businesses there's commercial there's industrial there's residential there's all sorts of stuff to deal with and we don't have that here at Brookfield. No, we don't. But it's still another aspect of experience that she has that just doesn't fall under the treasurer title. So it's a little torn just on that. You've got the formal experience and then you've got the experience but not under the title. So it's a, and not under the very specific um, daily tasks of a treasurer. Right. But she oversaw all the stuff. So. In, in my mind, if you can oversee this stuff, you at least know enough to be able to oversee the people that are doing the daily jobs, or else okay. yeah. probably not a good and, person to oversee the stuff. Okay. And now, with Jessica now, I remember when we interviewed her, we had brought up after she left that she was uh, three months behind, you know, like in her record. She was six months Oh, I left. She's just six. But there could, but the way of, we didn't ask her the question, but she could have been uh, behind it. Maybe it was some kind of a problem that her and the accountant or the tax collector could have had why they were, were um, She said that she was nine months behind total when she started. And it, in three years, she's now six months behind. Six. So that's where the three months oh. are, so. Yeah. Well, what I it took her three years to catch up the three could, months, but she didn't give any details on one. Could I just ask Laurie a question while she's here? Yeah. You don't have mine? Sure. Now, if a lot of times, you know, if like you've had a few problems with uh, different things with Sarah and the tax collector and things, and that can bring you behind also, can it? Yep, so it's October now. Yep. Um, Essentially, if you didn't take into account closing the books, you would be bound if you take into account closing the books. We would just about be balancing September. Currently, we just balanced June last week. So, essentially, I am three months behind. Yeah. But there's always a reason. Yeah, there's always that a I'm reason. I can't speak for her because I don't know her. Yeah. Generally, if I'm not going anywhere, I always have a reason yeah. that I'm not behind. Right. And I thought she acted, maybe we said she didn't answer the questions as good as we thought she did, but I mean, maybe well, she, she could She said she had experience with Chapter 90, yeah. and when we yeah. pressed her for what her experience was, it was she said it was stuffing envelopes. Is that what she said? Yeah, it was. Yes. That yeah. was, in, in essence, that's what her response was. And she has two years of experience as a treasurer. If you look at her resume, it says Town of Hardwick, yep. treasurer, 2018. Oh, no, yep. that's three. Never three, mind. Three. My math yep. is bad. And then Barry. Uh, a treasurer. And then Town of Barry, she said she was the assistant collector, even though it says oh, treasurer's it office. Collector. But much it of was her a combination. Tasks, it was a, it's no, it a doesn't com say it's a combination. It says much of my daily tasks are those well, usually was... performed by the treasurer tax collector. Oh, yeah. I thought. So she's. I don't know, here it says Town of Barry collector slash treasurer. Yeah, the description. Yeah. Collector, treasurer's office. The description is okay. different than the here. title. Okay, I know. Yeah. It okay. says that she was the collect assistant collector. Oh, all yeah. right. So. Yeah, and, and that was 
That was probably my primary point of concern yeah. was that in the areas where we pressed on the technical expertise, mm -hmm. um, the, the depth of knowledge, and, and I understand like when you take a look at it, okay, that's three years experience, yeah. three years experience, you're really pretty much only getting your feet wet to a certain extent. Um, I, I don't know, given the complexity of, of what we have, I'm almost more willing to take a chance on somebody that has the process experience and and hasn't necessarily used our explicit tools than somebody who has the VADAR experience. But when you when you presents as you know having the knowledge, and I think she's not quite certified yet, if I remember correctly. No, no she's not. Uh, probably in part because of COVID, because everybody gets mm -hmm. set back a year. Okay, but um, the. I had a little bit of concern in terms of, of really kind of for anything that's more than a little bit complex with with what her actual proficiency would be with, with what we have going on through our treasurer's office. And I totally get the concerns oh. about not Vader, not Harper's, yeah. um, that th there's going to be some skill acquisition oh. potentially with that. but. Understand, I think, in understanding the what really has to be done to support, you know, Chapter 90 from a treasurer perspective, or what really needs to be done in terms of the complexity of dealing with having our internal school. I did feel like um, Amy had the, had the stronger, like, system knowledge mm -hmm. and like yeah. how that should work. Yeah. Yep. And I, I don't, I don't get the impression that she's afraid of getting hands on, and, yeah. and I think yeah. she has done it in, in some well, of the. Yeah, in, in the problems. Sure. What do you, when you say chapter nine from treasures, <clears throat> what exactly are we talking about? The treasurer is not involved in chapter nine. I, I know it's kind of. I, I'm sorry. It's it's actually kind of a joke. <laughs> okay. But I mean, at this point, anyone who does chapter nine is starting from scratch. Yeah. The whole system changed. Okay. <laughs> but. Yeah. So, right. I mean, that's, a, mm. that's another challenge. That's, that's another challenge. To get them both certified. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It, and, and yeah, exactly. Mm. The, the main thing that um, I think kind of separated them a little bit for me um, was I got the impression that even though Amy doesn't have maybe the, like you said, the experience with the software, I got the impression that she has the extreme ability to learn it. Mm -hmm. And I've always felt that. Um, Hiring or bringing on anybody who maybe has experience in the software is not always better than someone who has the high ability to learn something. Right. Because software, you always have to learn. You always have to keep up to date with it. You always have to. Things will change, like you said. The chapter ninety stuff may completely change. So everybody has to relearn it. Yeah. So it's one of those where, if you have the ability and the mindset and the desire to learn the stuff, then you can do it. Right. So, tough one. yeah, so I, I think at, at, at this point we have two decisions to make. Do we decide from the pool that we have available to us today? Or do we continue to look? Okay, that's, that's decision number one. I decision, think, no, how much longer do we have? How many times have you done this? This is the second time. Really, it's, if you think about it, it's really three because we did oh, no. it when we... Yeah. It's more than three. It's, it's, it's more than three. Yeah, because I watched this the, job probably, coming well it's probably yeah, you, you, so, you, you so. can't you can't keep if you keep running it and keep yeah. going through it. Eventually, you will go through the pool, and then you know. I think this is probably the fifth time there that personally no has been involved in this. Maybe yeah. the sixth. We only did interviews once last year. Yeah. Yeah. Our COVID interview. Yeah. Right. So we haven't. Yeah, we haven't really. Yeah. We haven't, so, right. <clears throat> we haven't gone through it past six times. No, I'm, I'm just. I'm not saying for this particular posting no. of it. I just mean no, in terms no, I of mean, the, the treasurer. No, problem. but the treasurer. Yeah. So I watched your treasurer position come and go twice. Yep. Before I started working here, so this is this the is third, third time, time that I'm aware of that you that you've done this yeah. that you've posted. Mm -hmm. um, it's no, it's at least the it's at least the fourth because it would have been the woman from Rhode Island, 
Sandy, um, uh, Monica. And shoot your mom. Uh, oh. In between uh, 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 Lonnie. Lonnie. Um, and then and then we posted again and wound yeah. up getting Sarah because we couldn't find somebody. Well, so. Laurie was the one that found Sarah for us. Right. But I think we had a posting out we at the time, and, and we didn't get yeah, any we didn't applicants. Get no. Okay, so so I, I was wrong. It wasn't six, but it was yeah. like four or five. If, San, if you know, Sandy didn't pass. Sandy right. would have still been with us oh, to yeah. this day. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. So. And with Monica, I mean, she was going to. Do, I don't even know why she took the position because she was um, a June, She was an assistant accountant down in Charlton. And she was going to school to become an accountant. So basically, she just came on with us, say, for about six months. And then she left us, and that was the reason why. For? I think it was for the income. She just wanted some in more income, and um, that's why she left. For Amy, just because I don't recall, and it wasn't in the notes, um, and I believe I had to leave a little bit early for, for that. Yep. Was there anything brought up of, of why Amy had both CFO and town account, or is that just how Leedsboro? Does the titles? Because I, I know CFO has more responsibilities than say. Because account. what happened was the job description when she was hired, she was hired as the accountant, but her job description was that of a CFO. So halfway gotcha. through, it was caught that she didn't have the correct yeah. job title, and so mm -hmm. that's how it became CFO. Okay. Slash. But the job description itself had. The oversight and, the, the C, and basically the CFO responsibilities. Right. right. Okay. Okay. Well, but I had mentioned to you the uh, the other day, Kelly. I said I hope you know if we if we did hire her, I hope that she doesn't come in with the idea that she's going to be in charge of the financial team here. No, absolutely not. That would, yeah, I mean, if it wasn't in the job description, yeah. she read the job description. But I mean, still, I right. mean, sometimes well, one that we did hire oh, from um, out of state. That when she came in the first day, she called me and she she was started telling everybody what to do. She thought she was in charge of the whole financial mm -hmm. team, even though it wasn't in the job description. Yeah, no, that's that's not what this job and, is. I think so we can no. set. I think we can set clear expectations up front about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, honestly, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about that. So, yeah. I was looking at the references, and one of her references is our auditor. Who? Yes. For uh, Amy? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Who was one of her? And when I spoke with Heather, um, the Lunenburg town manager at the town, uh, small town administrator, she had no idea she was a reference on that. On, oh, really? On, um, on Jessica? Jessica. Did she know her? Like this? Yeah. So. Well, that's interesting. She I didn't said, hey, know. you were used for a reference. What can you tell me? And she went, oh, well, I, I wasn't aware of that. Oh, she's, she's nice. Was the response that I got. So, I didn't ask for any details. I didn't ask for any pointed questions. Yeah. Did, did we ask where Amy's concerned now with the school? What is the school system up there in um, Lansbro? If you look, she was... Um, that's what I was... I mean, she includes the school department reconciliations in her chief financial officer work. Mm -hmm. yes. So, yep. yes. So they do have a school department. And but she I mean, was yeah. the business accountant for the city of Pittsfield. Yep. And they really? Okay. Welcome back. We are coming back from a five-minute recess uh, of the Brookfield Board of Selectmen, the, the October 5th meeting. Yes. Yep. Okay. And the recess was due to a technical difficulty. Difficulty. Yes. Right. So... Okay, we're back, okay. and we had just talked about the school system. Talked about the school system, yep. and I had a question regarding. I believe Lanesboro has a district school system similar to ours, where yes. it's a, like four or five towns. There, oh well. Or is there's three. It's two with two towns choicing in, so Hancock and New Ashford uh, okay, choicing. I'm Williams. thinking of well, it's Williamstown and Lanesboro. Yes. Okay. So now it's it's basically four with a lot of school choice. No, were they all um, are they all re the elementary and they regionalized in with the high school or is it? 
The elementary regionalized with the high school a year ago. Okay. So it, prior to that, all the elementaries were independent. Very and New Ashford doesn't even have an elementary. They all come to the Lanesboro yeah, elementary. Yeah, because that's, yeah. that's very small town. So there's a lot of um, school choice. It's a mm -hmm. very, yeah, it's a very uh, sought after school environment. Just in Lanesboro? Yep. Yes. Yeah, oh well, yeah, it's Yeah, it's, it's one of the top rated schools in the state. Yep. They're a small community too, aren't they? Yeah, they're about the same size as, mm -hmm. as Brookfield. Their, their yeah. budget's much bigger. But yeah, well, it's because they Lanesboro has the industrial and the commercial. Yes, to support they them. have a much. Yeah. They have a much larger yeah. commercial yeah. base. Yes, <laughs> some still on the. But the base. mall is still there. I believe. The mall has been dead for a while. Well, it's still there. Physically, the roof is falling in. There's so much water damage. It's a do not enter. And for, there's a fire. It's, yep. it's in such bad repair. Yeah. Right. So, um, yeah, Target, I'm, I'm which is a condo with. on the mall property, is still there and doing wonderfully. Yep. They're, they're very viable. Yeah. So. yeah, I'm familiar with Lanesboro, having lived out there for five years. Yeah. Yeah. The so. area. Yeah, I mean, I'd be comfortable making a decision between the two. Okay. Like, okay. I, I don't believe that we need to go back out and start the process all over again for the third, fourth, X number of times. So do we have a motion then for a particular candidate? Yeah, I'll, I'll make a motion that uh, we hire uh, Amy Jane Lane Carmody for the position of treasurer. You have a second? Okay. No, you can. I'll, I'll, I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No offense, Kelly, to you. <laughs> you can't offend me by picking the candidate you want, Linda. No, no, but I mean, I know you've worked with her, and I, I'm sure that you know what she can do, but mm -hmm. it's just a few things that, you know, I've seen, mm -hmm. and I don't even know, I mean, I know you, you're going to offer her the position, but I don't even know if she'd be a good fit around here, because she's more into the city. Than, oh, no, she'll be being, a perfect fit here. Yeah, I know her small personality will, will blend in nicely. Sure. Um, so if she is brought in and hired and accepts, who's going to do the training with the full yeah. softwares? Okay, we're going to have to find the, do we have budget in the treasurer's office to fund her training with? Um, no. There's no budget. There's no, there's no wiggle room in the treasurer's budget whatsoever. And I know with Harper's years ago, I think they came out right here for only one session one time, and that was it. And I, I remember they said if we wanted to know more, we had to go in to them. I don't know if they're even, are they still in Worcester? Harper's is still in Worcester. Yeah. Most we, of them are not Yeah. Okay. That's just my so main concern. I, now we have to identify with Vader how much it is, but if we have to, we can go to advisory and ask for some of the reserve fund money for the training. Is there, um, do you know if there's a listing of when they may offer training? They don't offer trainings anymore. You have to request them. Okay. okay. Um, they do like so it's something we would request and then they would, to be a scheduling done. Yeah, they, they schedule when they have available. There is a very good possibility that with the vast network that um, Amy has and resources she has, there may be someone out there that is using the software that would be willing to assist her. So okay. it's definitely worth exploring before we talk about budgeting, yep. okay. you know, a training for yeah. Yeah. So, And okay. I know she has to give a 30-day notice, so she may come fully equipped. Yeah, yeah, it's a... Yeah, she has a minimum 30-day. So will you your contract. Call her with a job offer. Oh. So, um. Thirty days notice and a week vacation. Yeah. She has a week vacation to use. Yeah. Lots of groceries. So we'd be looking at. Probably month, month and a half. Probably or so. month and a half. Yeah. So. So will Sarah start now? We're gonna see if Sarah will stay with us and with the children. She, why wouldn't she stay with us until then? She would stay with us if we well, didn't hire her. Uh, yeah, because it's I'm still. I'm sure. I, I, maybe that came out wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I think she would probably be. I think, I think she would probably be relieved to know there was at least an end of yeah. sight. So I even think she was even willing to stay on if we didn't hire somebody. Well, I had a very long talk with Sarah. Yeah. She, she's 
was fully on board with hiring. A, yeah, a and I remember that discussion. I think we had that beginning of the yeah. of the, the this term mm -hmm. that and I think if that we brought I someone know. on, she'd be very yeah. willing and happy to assist with the process of yes. changing over and anything that was necessary mm -hmm. because you know, she explained to us the situation. Do we, I know I asked the question of Jessica, do we know what kind of um, salary history that Amy has? Well, legally you can't ask that. No, actually, you can't ask so, that. Well, you I'm can't, not answering your question. So that's true, you can't ask salary yeah. history. No. Um, or however, current salary. It's well, but, but public record for a town, for a town role. I thought the last time I asked. Yeah, yeah, but you still can't ask. It's still, it's yeah. Still you, you can't ask, you can. Look yourself. I think she's currently at, at sixty-six. Okay. Well, but yeah, that's what I'm. Okay. So, what, the, what is the budget for the, the role salary, that she's currently in? The salary. <laughs> yeah. This. Yes, the budget for the role that she's currently, currently in, in. I believe is sixty-six or sixty-seven. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, but yeah. So, offer her the position. See where she comes in at a salary. It's an outward position, not a contractor position, and negotiate from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because she would have less work to do down here than she. Absolutely not. No. Sarah no. said that this well, job is forty hours a no. week for two people. That's eighty hours a week. Yeah, I, I would not yeah. say. Her team is putting in sixty-five, which is what she she did not uh, anticipate. And, oh, and for friends? for salary, I wouldn't pay less just because. They do 35 well, hours or yeah. 30. What, like it's still salary. It's, mm, it, I, it, it can know, fluctuate. Like you, you could have a lot of work. 40 hours a week from yeah. Monday to Friday. Yeah, but you, a, you could have more than 40 hours of technical like yeah. stuff and, on your desk to do in a week. Mm -hmm. And then other weeks you, it could just be slower and maybe you caught up or got ahead the and, week before. And my and, thought was what, what did we post this at though in the 72 to 75 yeah. is the range that, yeah. you, that you picked at a, at a slow moment. Yeah, okay. from, from what I had looked at that the range in that we had offered fit with what right. is commensurate. Yeah, because I wasn't, I wasn't, the, what I, the reason why I was asking was just to figure out where in that range we needed to hit. So it sounds like we, an appropriate starting point would be Seven. the, the 72. 72, is, I, think, is, I think I should have around. Yeah. yeah. So, um, mm -hmm. so that's kind of, that's kind of where I would be sitting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's good. So. Um, but yeah, let's 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 do a reach out. Let's let's. Did that will seventy two okay. standard package. Just out of curiosity, because I don't recall. Linda, did you give your formal? Yeah, your name. She, she, she said no. She said okay. She she. Did you abstain? You didn't actually. Oh oh, I didn't. No, I didn't. I I didn't vote in favor of it. Okay. I that's a no. That's a no. no. That's a no. I knew. Okay. No, I didn't want to put you on the spot. I just couldn't recall. Yeah. Yeah. She voiced a no. Okay. So. Cool. Um, okay. Um, is there anything else that we need to talk about for this in order to properly execute it? Uh, will it be, yeah. Beth, will it be you reaching out with a formal offer, or would it be Kelly, or would it be Karen? Like, um, who would do the formal? Uh, either phone call or phone call well, plus letter. Yeah, I guess I can. Yeah, I guess I can do the outreach. Yeah. Okay. Just I guess a, I did the last. I guess I. I mean, the last person I think that we hired that was a like a senior person in this office was you, and I guess I made that offer. So. Mm -hmm. so yeah. you did. But are we are we comfortable with that as a package then? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with the. Okay. With the Maybe. seventy-two. Okay. And then we'll have to find out what they. How many weeks vacation did she have up there? She, well, this is the, the challenge here is that this is not a contract position, so we oh, can't. So, so, it's, so what they get is what they get in it, terms yeah. of, of the rest of the package. They either, yeah, it's whatever is. Here's bylaw that you voted last year also marks this position as grade six. Okay. Which is not seventy-two thousand. There is no salary range adopted in the bylaw. I you did not, I checked. No. I checked before I had them pick this out. Because it's 72,000, this position above the 
So we don't want the other employees coming forward and saying, well, she's making this much and we've been here much longer. And that always happens everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you haven't been around her. Long. You haven't been around. Long no, no, I, 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 what goes on. No, I, I understand. I mean, <laughs> oh, you, we see the same thing in other workplaces. Yeah, you, you, too. you move to it's a, a position anywhere, you're more than likely going to make more than the people who have been there, right? Because of how the system works. Yeah. It's, it's a. Yeah, it's a general thing with the system. Yeah, well, that's probably something we should have talked about when we posted it there in the first place. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. we, did. we did. It, it was the scotch. Right, yeah. but we didn't raise the grade issue. The fact that that was outside of the, the bandwidth of the grade. Or the starting but The bylaw grade. also says that you can. It's up to you the. You don't have to follow that if, right. you, yeah. if you find need to. people who are yeah. qualified. Able to I can't recall, but is there a line that says. Yeah, there's wiggle language. Mm -hmm. Is there a line that's something like with the commensurate with experience? Yeah, there's basically a wiggle room that in yeah. order to, yeah. to get an appropriate yeah. fill, you can, there's, there's, you can adjust way. accordingly. It's more or less just to, yeah. It's good to have a heads up. Yeah. Well, I came in at a grade seven and I'm making $10,000 less than other grade sevens. So. There's always reviews mm. so mm -hmm. would she now she talked to will she relocate down here or is she yes, gonna, she will. yeah yeah i believe said, that was she in said here. up front that she would yeah she that one was of the reasons she was looking out here was because she wanted to move this way mm -hmm. are you going to put in here that she has to be yes that will be part of the offer. Yeah, yep. we've had that knowledge job descriptions usually, but they have yep. to be certified. Yeah, I think we have to figure out what's an appropriate deadline for that, though. Well, it depends on how the treasurer school is offered. Yeah, because so I don't know how much of a she has. My, um, chief procurement certification, mm -hmm. it cannot be done in under four years. Right. Yeah. It might, it might be a minimum of three years. Because that's when they offer the program yeah. prerequisites. Yeah. You have to take yeah. this. They only yeah. offer this mm -hmm. once a year. It comes after the one that you need yeah. next. So, <laughs> yeah, you have to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so three, three, three years yeah. to get certified yeah. unless yeah. you're up to the right. Yeah. To do it soon. And they still go to school up at UMass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kelly, is that something that you'd be able to look into ahead of time just to see? Or it's not, not for the school, but for the, um, the Vader or when? Oh, the like, school doesn't teach Vader. No, 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 no. I, it just re reminded me of the Vader portion. Training. The, the training when, when Vader just would be just to see available. when they may be available be like if we have someone who would need the training or potentially yes, need the yeah, training I can, I can reach out so then at least we would have some kind of like timeline where you know if yeah. she were to accept we could say all right we've already contacted them for but, you but right now our cash book is not in Vader right so for the no, we can we pay for the module we're not using it okay we're using an excel based cash book right and then um But VADAR is part of the day-to-day -day for the treasurer, so they're going to have to ask. Yep. Their, their whole job is everything in yeah. there. So. Yeah, so the the yep. so we're paying it's for the module, job. and it's not being... It's included in the package that we bought. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, we just, our full goal was to implement using the VADAR mm -hmm. cash book, but because of the amount of variances and issues we had, the Excel cash book was the way to go to get this yeah. started here. But now that it, we're pretty much cleaned up on variances... Our plan was to implement it into 22, Right. Um, but we just haven't, we're not at that point yet. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. use the best tool for the job at the time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah. Sarah's currently using the cash book that uh, my firm put out. Okay. Cool. Okay. Is that the Excel one? Mm -hmm. Nice. I love Excel. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's a really Sorry. nice cash book. <laughs> That's what we use for training. So. Excel. Okay. So it sounds like we have a nominal plan. Do you know when you'll be contacting? Um, I should be able to reach out tomorrow. Okay. Just because it's the beginning of the month and the yep. sooner she, she Just by gives the her notice, the sooner she can get Right, her. especially we're gonna creep into the holiday yeah. space yep. a month. Yeah. And Honestly, know. five weeks out is gonna take us to Thanksgiving. We're looking at December. Yep. Not necessarily. Okay, fair enough. So, All right. she, May 
We'll plan for five weeks. She said she has a, vi- a week's vacation. That right. may have meant that, and that I, don't might know. Be a, I don't know, but yeah. when I had a week's vacation and I changed jobs, I used that week's vacation to, to back get it. out of my yeah. job sooner mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and come work here. So yeah. mm-hmm. that yeah. was, yeah. and I have no idea if that's what's going on with that, but okay, that might not, it, it may not be a negative is yeah. all I'm saying. Right, mm-hmm. right, got it. So ideally, how long do you want to keep if this all, you know, cans are is there a contract like we are a it's a month to month, 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 okay. month right now okay. well that's so probably how long I said with Sarah staying on I probably I had used the wrong word yeah so <laughs> we have exactly enough to pay uh, obviously Sarah's contract for this year so as we use more months of Sarah we're dipping into money that we have to pay it. Internal treasure, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think, I would say we'd want no less than probably a month. Days. Yeah. Or Two. Say again, please. A month. 30 day transition. 30 day transition. I know we probably don't have the money for it, but we may need to. And it, it may be something to reach out to Sarah to see what she would think. Would be so, because she may go well. Thirty days is plenty. Thirty yeah. days is too much. Thirty days is too little. You know. Yeah. Can we have that conversation with her? Get, get her. Would you? Would yeah. You, sure. Get yeah. Her yeah. And just say yeah, because what? And it may be a case of it might be thirty days, but it might be thirty days on like a scaled amount of hours, mm-hmm. like a. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like the first the first week they're still doing everything, but. But um, the new person it's, writes it's like shotgun. It slowly shifts you know what I'm right. saying? So yeah. that, so that, it, and and even if, yeah, I, yeah. I could see something we're, like that working. Last... Not so much training as just handoff and like process mm-hmm. handoff, right. and we're that way, yeah. right? Where the last couple of days is, do you have any final questions? questions. Yeah. Like we're yeah. all set. Yeah. yeah. So, so maybe mention to the advisory board that we will definitely need. We're gonna need some extra money. Yeah. So, so you'll keep us updated with right. everything. Yeah. And, yeah. So I'd, I'd, I'd ask that I'd ask that um, Kelly reach out to Sarah though to get yeah. work out some of the details and the transition. And she, so if Amy comes in at seventy two, we're paying Sarah. We've got budgeted I think eighty three. Yeah. Eighty three. Eighty. I think it's eighty for this year. It's eighty three. Oh, it's 83? I'm positive it's 83. <laughs> 80 to 83. I'm positive. Well, it makes a big difference. No, it does make a big difference. I know. $3,000 is, is, is a it difference. It saves, so if that one month, the difference between the two is 916. Yeah. So that one month over the next six months adds up to the one month that we need. Need of the overlap. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's a horse race. It'll so, be pretty close. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm positive. It's 83 because I just put in a spreadsheet like 20 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Yeah. So I, I think we could, it sounds like we could potentially make that work. Yeah. It'll be tight. It'll be tight but it'll be yeah, but hopefully we won't have to go to advisory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and we're paying her like a flat fee for the month, right? Or we pay her a uh, flat fee for the month. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to hear her, Sarah's opinion on it. Yeah. And because that's the one, like, she's not just going to drop the books and go. No. You know, no, she's, no, that's so, no, and she's, that's she's not she's very, not I, I know that, I know that's not who, with her diligence, yeah, because, I, I know that's not who she, she is. Was, so. yeah, she's, she's concerned, and I think that she'll be at ease when she meets Amy and works with her. Um, she was concerned about all the work that's been done. Yeah, she doesn't want to see it go to waste. No. To yes. waste. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was saying. She's not just going to go, hooray, and I drop it, go. Too. I don't want yeah. to she's she's, she's going to want to make this a success. Yeah, and that's that's yeah. exactly why I yeah. came Well, no, but she's put all this hard work into it. Like, yeah. Well, the bolt of them She doesn't want to see it fall down. Yeah. 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 They have. You can't see this crumble. No, no we, we can't. That's a lot of work. It is. I totally get that. Yeah. No, yeah. we don't. We want. We don't want to see it. Totally get that. Yeah. Like I said, it's the first time, probably in 25 years, about it that we've been reconciled. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we can't <laughs> go back. With yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. I would say we're we're done. I mean, we're reconciled. We're 
Then it's official. <laughs> That's it. Well done, Tequila. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we at least have a plan, right? And, mm -hmm. and it sounds like a workable plan. Mm -hmm. So, I, I know. I, I, I know. There's concerns. There's never a perfect plan. I get it. So. So one of the things that. Sarah's just going to be kind of in the dark about is she does not know who she's going to be working with, so she can't. I, I would be surprised if she can tell you how long it's going to take to transition. Well, th that's fine. It, it may be like, it, a month. It may be three weeks. Yeah, if, maybe, if she comes back, I mean? but she won't know until she actually works with. Her. Yeah, if, if she comes person. back and says, "Well, I I need to meet her. I need to work with her for a yeah. day or a week or whatever it is," then mm -hmm. at least we know that. And then we can kind of plan accordingly. Yeah. But I think we plan on a minimum 30 day trip. Or, okay. Well, actually, just in case, depending on the timing of it, mm -hmm. we plan on a minimum of four work week transition. And I say that for a reason because if, if Thanksgiving falls in the middle of that, yeah. I, yeah. I don't want to count that. So yeah. it might actually wind up a five week transition. Okay. Um, if, we can, if we can work that, just because I know holidays turn into an yeah. absolute train wreck in, in mm -hmm. terms of onboarding people and training them and and transitioning processes and handing off workflows yep. it, it, I just want to make sure we, we, we discuss it that way if that makes any sense so um, good are we are we good with that yeah. portion of the discussion? Good. Okay. Um, moving on to the next thing on the agenda, uh, Massachusetts Community Development Block Grant mm -hmm. Program Final Quarterly Report Certification. Um, we've got a final certification for uh, April through June of 2021 on the uh, CDF-G 2018 Can I get a motion authorizing me to sign off uh, on the quarterly report? Okay. Um, okay I'll, I will give a, a mo make a motion for uh, the chairman to sign off on the quarterly report on the grant of CDFG 20180821. And that's a period from April 1st to June 30th, 2021. I'll second that motion. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 This is the one that's related to um, the uh, housing rehabilitation grants. Mm -hmm. It seems like you've signed a lot of final certificates for this grant. Does this yeah. happen frequently? Yeah, it does. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. What's it going on? Okay, great. You got me there. <laughs> so we've got that. We've got um, we've got some deeds for um, cemetery plots. We've yep. got uh, one for Edmund and Patricia Boucher, and then we've got one for uh, Donald and Sharon Grimes. Boucher or Boucher? I'm sorry. <laughs> I know somebody else who pronounces it the other way. So. Okay. Yeah, don't you want, why don't you sign for Right, no, I was going to say that cause oh. I need a motion just to oh. sign for this uh, one. Okay, I'd like to s make a motion to sign uh, burial deeds for uh, Edmund and Patricia Boucher and Donald and Sharon Grimes. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.
we've got uh, a wage authorization for Lindsay Rockwood for an amount of $19.84. Can I get a motion to sign that? I will uh, give you a motion to sign a wage, off wage authorization for uh, Lindsay Rock Rockwood, who will be the administrative assistant at the Highway Department at uh, a rate of $19.84. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And the personnel board will meeting on Thursday, so we will be signing. So we've got, um, I wanted to have a discussion about uh, establishing a contact for booking the banquet hall. Yes, um, we had some double bookings yep. uh, for the room. Um, the agenda posting method at the town, my town government, is that the name of it? My town government. My town government. If a room is booked for a specific time already, a red alert comes up, but apparently they're not necessarily acknowledging the red alert and booking anyway. It's a, it's so what, what I'd like to do is establish a contact person okay. um, so that when prior to booking a meeting for this room, they need to reach out and say, hey, is this date available? Okay. So that it doesn't, um, we don't overlap again because the ZBA wanted, needed to have a hearing and there were a lot of people and it would have made more sense mm -hmm. For them to have this room than for the select board to have the room but they picked one of your regular meeting nights to do it so right. they need i just don't want that to happen yeah. again so karen volunteered to be that person yeah. so okay, if great. you guys are on board with yeah. it yep. um, we'll send out an email to all of the boards committees okay. and departments that if they're going to schedule a meeting for the use of this room yeah. it doesn't matter if they're going to do it in their own rooms it's just this yeah. room Okay. On an event like the COA had a really great um, yeah. senior sure. meet and greet here uh, last, last week, week. Yeah. that was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. But if there had been a meeting scheduled at the same time, it could have been a problem. A problem. Yeah. So it was great that they had, you know, that they were able to use this room. So we just want to avoid well, that going see, forward. See, they've gotten away from that practice because it used to be when I was here. It was always like between the town clerk and the administrative assistant. Mm -hmm. We that's what the calendar is in there. Mm -hmm. There's like a calendar on the wall, and I would uh, any time before anybody would check to have a meeting, I would always come in and I check to see if there was another meeting going on. So, so this is what's happened. It's just fallen by the wayside. Yeah, it, it just needs to be yeah. reinstated. Yeah, it's got to be re so. reinstated again. It's, 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 that took huh? That's why they didn't do that anymore because my town government that work was supposed to take place. But it did, yeah. But if people are ignoring the alerts, then. But still, I mean, he should, yeah. he should be, I think, checking to see also before he lets these people know it's okay. But but he's not posting. They can post their own they can agendas. Post their own. So so that's the problem yeah, yeah. is that oh, okay. there's no. Um, nobody knows that they've done it until they get right. the oh. posting. And it's, and it's a soft flag, it's not a hard stop. Right. And yeah, every time somebody a hard changes stop. like a letter on any of the agendas, it blows up your email. This was the agenda. Now it looks like this, and it doesn't tell you what's going Now there's really a punctuation and, change. Yeah. yeah. And it, yeah, my yes. email is blowing up. I signed up for all of them so I know when the meetings were. So if oh, there was no. something on the agenda I wanted to. Time, for, and it's time for a mailbox rule. <laughs> Well, you know, I tried that. It's, it's, and, you can't do and it. Outlook said, yeah, yeah no. No, it's not done. Yeah. You just check it. You just, just check it daily. <laughs> it, is there any way that I and know. People pre post, like, people will pre post. I'm going to have a meeting. Uh, so, so I meet with my board mm -hmm. tonight. I don't meet again for a month. I will post that I'm having a meeting tomorrow because we pick the meeting date and then yep. I'll put a tentative mm -hmm. agenda and then I'll fix the agenda and then I'll put the real agenda. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the, is, is there any way, like I know that my town government is operated by a single person in Barry, I think they are. I think the, that's where the individual was if I remember reading his uh, really? thing. Really? I did not know I that. believe so. Small yeah, yeah, it's a couple people maybe, yeah. but it, I believe one, when it first started. Yes, I, I think he probably does it. He's, he's, I, I think he's it's still EM. I think it's still the same thing because I saw a post yeah. about how his costs were going up because of cloud well, services. Well, he was doing it for nothing. Yeah, but that's he that's did. what he made the and post he, about his costs going. He's up. He's an EMT, and he yeah. started out doing it with Barry. 
Yeah, no, that's what I was saying. It, it started in Barry. It was yeah. a single person doing it. And he is still, I think, the yeah. one person doing no, it. No, he is, yeah. yeah. I, I was reading his stuff, but like, we ha we pay for Outlook. We pay for our Office 365. Like That has calendar stuff built into it. It has yeah. the ability to block people from booking rooms if it's already booked. And our web page also has the calendar. ability to yeah. calendar and to send out emails when people post their Yeah, it, it's, so. I wonder if there's any way, like, I mean, if it's just one or two people doing it, I highly doubt it, but some kind of integration, like, I don't know how many of the boards have emails, um, or even if it's a, if the chair of a board has an email, because I know you, know, you get charged per email a lot of times, but yes, we <laughs> but if there was a booking method that way that we could use a system that we're paying for that really all it's kind of being used for, I believe it's just email when it's so much more than that. Um, so I, I, think if it could we, be, I think what we want to probably do, or this would be my recommendation, is let's start by let's get a calendar and let's get a course. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm um, just thinking, and then, like, and then, and then let's build the infrastructure. Build up and, and yeah. then let's start to build the infrastructure around mm -hmm. yeah. Outlook and getting people conditioned to using Outlook and having the room have its basically. I know where I work, it, they basically have the equivalent of like they're, they're a resource designated within Outlook, and, and once it's booked, you can't. Yeah, it blocks you from doing it. Yeah. It just, it just small, declines your meeting and, and it's tells like, you. Just say a small board meeting. Say they're not going to have a hearing. They could always use the kitchen too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Or or the police station. Yeah, the police. Yeah. 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 But just as a future, you know, uh, agreed. Well, far stretching thing. Go. Um, told that they can just mean you can use the police. It, it would not too. be. That's probably maybe something you should put in an email and ch to check with the uh, down there to see if, see if the room is open. When they're using my town government dot org not to ignore the alerts. Yeah. It it would be something after December because I know that's when the IT contract comes up. So I don't want to yes, start yes. anything. I that don't want to start anything to be on the, new. That needs to be on, the on next, next agenda. Yeah. But like I don't want to start anything new. But starting with the the new year, new calendar year, like I know it would not be difficult to get an Outlook calendar put on like. You know, a 15 inch little display okay. out there hmm. that anybody walking in could just see what the monthly stuff is so that Karen even if you were entering the stuff manually like going through the what we just talked about well, we do, that it would just you have something in the break room a, a big calendar now that I physically but it, wrote in yeah it, but it, if it was something that you could enter it into a system whether it's right, my right, town right. government or yes. or that and it just shows up there when anybody walks in the building it's just right there oh, that'd be kind of cool then it's you know yeah, so yeah, it's like no. You just look at the you know the screen, and it just tells you what it is. I mean, yeah. ninety but bucks for a fifteen inch display. It would be nice. Like, we could like you have you had a we could maybe get an elevator, <laughs> or and then we can more. yeah, and then we can they can have more meetings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just some far reaching yeah. mm -hmm. calendar, new calendar year stuff yeah. to consider. Are you ready to approve the selectman's minutes yeah. for 9 7? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I get a motion? I'd like to make a motion to approve the selectman's minutes for 9 7 21. I will second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, I'm going to get to announcements. I probably should have let off with these. So, <laughs> trick or treat and Halloween events will be held Halloween night of October 31st um, in the village and common area from 5 to 7 p.m. At 7 p.m., a Parade will start at the fire station on Central Street to Sherman and Lincoln Street to the Town Common. There will be a costume contest in the gazebo after the parade. Do we know if there are any constraints or uh, guidance? Because I believe it was last year when they held it. Um, they asked all participants to wear masks or and to keep the, like, for those mm. who are handing out candy. Um, I know there's some very creative people out there who were using shoots to send the candy down into a basket ah, so they could pick it up. Thing. They had little like grabber hands so they can put it out into the bucket. I, 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 I wasn't that creative. I just no. put out I put yeah. out a card table and yeah. went running back yeah. out. And yeah, no, like there was all sorts of <laughs> super creative stuff that was really cool to see. And I, I know my son loved the candy shoots. Like, so who are they? Uh, is it the right. Board of Health that would no, decide that? No, it would be the Board of Health. No, yeah. Recreation Committee is the one that runs well, it. But the right. Board of Health would decide. But, but yeah. I, I, think, I think it's a good point. I think we should send some correspondence to the Board of yeah. Health and yeah. find out if there's any guidelines regarding social distancing, 
I mean, I just got some fresh, like, N95 masks. I'll probably be out on my stoop with uh, mm -hmm. a mask and maybe a cowboy hat so it looks like I'm just a bandit instead of a, being socially distancing, you know? Right? You can put a bandana over it. And no I can put a know. bandana over the, the N95 and who knows no any better? Know. So. Yeah, because I saw there was, um, Spencer just announced theirs and they had that requirement. Uh, yeah. Social distance, wear a mask if you're able to. No, yeah. like, it's hard to you know, walk up and down the streets with the things. But. Right. So, so, but let's at least ask the question because mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of guidelines are out there. And, and the Board of Health would be the right folks to say yay or nay. Mm -hmm. I know people are excited <laughs> for this. It's a sense yeah. of normalcy again. It, it is, right? And it's an outdoor event, so it's mm -hmm. at least, even, even with Delta variant, it's lower risk. So, yeah. Um, Let's see here. Uh, report on the warrants? Yeah, I was in this afternoon and I went over the warrants and uh, we, uh, I approved um, an expense warrant for 10-5-21 for $125,522.79 and an expense payroll warrant. Payroll warrant, yeah. Expense. yeah. For ten six twenty one for one hundred eighty one thousand seven hundred and sixty three dollars and seven cents, and a withholding warrant for ten six twenty one for twenty eight thousand three hundred ninety two dollars and seventy one cents. Okay. And there was one question. I mean, Kelly asked if I had seen one of them on there. We had saved um, money. Usually, our bill to KP I think is about. Five thousand a month or something, and this this month it was only a thousand dollars. It was it was a thousand something. A thousand something, so it was less. Right. So that's good. Um, yeah, a lot of our what was active in the prior years is not, and I know that we do have some other some activities still ongoing, but it's it's we're in a lull. So. But still, I mean, having Kelly here with her degree and everything. You I've know, been asked a lot of questions. She's, she's okay. able, yeah. I have a lawyer. Ask me first. <laughs> she's been able to answer I'm, a lot of the I'm, questions. I am not going to deny that that was not an appealing yeah. aspect of your application, <laughs> yeah. Adam. Yeah. So. Ask me first. Oh, no, no, come here. This is law yeah. right here. This yeah. is master law right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, okay. I noticed, even though we had said that we're going to put it on the agenda, have we not received any materials from the from the uh, um, group that was interested in some sort of a lease back deal? We did. I sent it to you last week. It came. It came like I, th I think I got it Saturday. I think I emailed it to you. Oh, okay. Um, I can. I'll, I'll resend it. Maybe I well, thought no, about it really, really hard. Well, I'll double check. I, I could have, I could have missed <laughs> but the email traffic. But it wasn't on this agenda because it didn't come in time for you guys to look at that's it, what it was. for this meeting. Okay, so, so well, that's, that's what I was I, saying is that we didn't get it in time for right, this agenda. Right. Okay. This so, agenda was posted before it was received. Got it. So. That's that was what yeah. my actual intended statement yeah. was was that we didn't get it in time for mm -hmm. this agenda. Got it. Um, we do still have more. Have we gotten any applications for any of, or any interest at all in any of our vacancies? No. Okay. And it was even in, um, it's in the quite, Karen had done up an article for the Quay yep. Bar Current and yes. put it in and we haven't had any response. No, no, no. nothing. Okay. Um, Kelly, can you just do a tiny bit of research or you may know it already is to, I know, you had made mention that both for the Commission on Disability and the ADA coordinator, it's technically supposed to be people with a disability, but how is the, that the, defined? So I, I started looking that up earlier this morning, actually, and I didn't get to finish. Okay. Um, I don't believe that the ADA coordinator has to have a disability, but oh. you need to have a percentage of disabled people on your committee. Okay. But I, I actually had that. It's probably still up on my computer. From okay, fair from enough. This morning. Perfect. Um, but right. that was one of the things that I was I was researching. Okay. So that may that may help at least somewhat. And and do we know how a disability is defined? Is that self? Because like in in a workplace, that's like a self declared state. There's an official definition. Just like I think, but. I don't know if it 
call it legal, but I know there's an official definition of it. So I guess you would have to determine whether you wanted to adopt a state definition, a federal definition, um, a definition for employment purposes, they're different. Yeah, well, all, we should right. probably look the three of them all. I, I was thinking so, the, can we put on the agenda that, to it, discuss? That under the ADA, diabetes is a disability. Yes. However, it doesn't qualify for any disability. So, <laughs> yeah. so I, I guess, you know. I, I was so. thinking ADA just because when it's a lot of, when you talk buildings or access or anything, it has to be mm -hmm. ADA compliant. Yes. Which I know ADA is broad, but they it did is. that on purpose. Yeah. Right. But yeah. it, it also, if we adopted so, the ADA you know, version, it's are, also... A, there are people with, with cognitive disabilities and there are people with emotional disabilities, disabilities yeah. and they're all disabled and you can't see it. You right. Know? Yes. Yeah. Um, then there are the, the physically disabled who are... are but you can't. Very visible where you can see it. Mm -hmm. So it, it's very, it's a very loose definition. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and That's why is I like this it. for the composition of the committee? Is that why you're asking? Yeah. Okay, because that'll help me figure out. Yeah, it's exp explicit to the composition. So the I, it's my and I and I have to double check, and I may not be speaking correctly, but it's my understanding that they can either be disabled or have an immediate family, family member, member who yes. is yeah. disabled. So, for instance, if you're a mom mm -hmm. and if you have a child who's on the autism spectrum, you would qualify to be on this committee, even right. though okay. you yourself are not disabled. Right. You have a child who qualifies under the description to allow you to be part of this committee. Okay. I think I know someone, I'll let you know, maybe you could call and ask her if she would be interested because she has a child with a disability. It, 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 if it's somebody you know, it I don't really know her that well. More sense if no, I I really don't know her that well, but I know that she does. She was on the recreation committee at one time. I don't know if she's still on or not. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, we've got correspondence from CSX regarding vegetation management right away. So, let's see here, uh, we got this on the 27th of September, uh, they're going to be doing herbicide application uh, on the right of way in, as permitted by 333 CMR 11 and the Massachusetts right of way management regulations. It's going to commence on the 28th of September, a little late for us to tell everybody now, <laughs> and conclude on or before October 15th. It's going to be low pressure spray from a rail mounted truck um, and only in non sensitive areas. I wonder how much non sensitive area we even have. So I know we did provide that plan over to the Lake Association as well. So. And I, the reason why I say I wonder how much non-sensitive area we have is almost all of our railway is along the water. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah, almost all of the rail is like right along the, the river. Yeah. So I, I don't know how much they can actually spray as they try to work <laughs> I, know, I know a few years ago, some of the, they wanted to do a lot of spraying all down by the cemetery and the river is out in the back there. Yeah. And there was a lot of people that did come in and they objected to it. Yeah. Okay, um, that's I think all we have for our agenda. So can I get a motion to adjourn? I'll give you a motion to adjourn at 7.53. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.